This weekend, you could win yourself a copy of Dungeon Saga and the Adventurer's Companion from Mantic Games. Simply comment on any of these Dungeon Saga videos on Beast of War, Facebook or YouTube. Hi everybody, welcome back to Dungeon Saga Weekend. It's time for us to learn how to play. It's time, well, what we're going to start with, we're going to learn how to fight and move in the dungeon. So we're up against some skeletons, we're just starting out. What, what's wrong? Wait. Wait. What? What's wrong? We're in a dungeon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're playing the game. The barbarian and the dwarf. The magnificent, handsome barbarian and his spindly, balding ah, dwarf have every... entered the dungeon. Okay. Come on, don't get technical with this. This, this, is, this is dungeon crawling, Justin. Oh, okay. This is... well, let, let's have a look at our dungeon. So here we have the first level and map layout for our dungeon, right? Our objective is to get from here no, wait, up through. Wait, yes. Wait, yes, wait yes, do yes. you know what you're actually saying here? Yes. Well, what are you saying? I'm saying we're breaking into the dungeon. Yes. Do you know the technicalities of a dungeon? Enlighten me. Okay, right. So, this goes back to time and in memoriam. Okay, back to all the role players, right? Okay. Dungeons are levels. Okay. Okay. So, Basically, when you enter a dungeon, mm -hmm. you're entering at level one. Okay. And then you go down a level, mm -hmm. and you, your XP builds up a bit. Okay. And you go down, and then you go down, uh, and then you go down. And the deeper you go into the dungeon, uh, the more dark and dangerous and terrifying it becomes. <laughs> okay. So don't just brush past when you're describing a dungeon. A Apologies. dungeon Apologies. is an, an epic amazing thing okay this this is this is the beginning of our adventure okay we're going to become battle brothers by the end of this okay. in fact on that line in the quest book each quest has this is rich romantic by the way <laughs> <laughs> forget about it it's all about us oh, nice. <laughs> there's some nice color text and a, just as a nice introduction to each adventure mm -hmm. and there's an aftermath as well read right. it read it read it let's set the tone i'll give you the first bit Okay. We need some. We need some atmospheric music. The necromancer's lips moved without sound as he caressed the intricate runes and magical symbols carved into the door. He carried no torch, not because of the glow that throbbed from the door as he worked, but because he had long since stopped needing light to see by. So lost was he in the task at hand, so eager to gain the entrance to the chamber beyond and continue his quest, as he almost missed it. A disturbance in the upper levels of the hole. Something, no, someone had broken in. Me and you, dude. This is it. Drag this, me out. this is our adventure. You dragged me out of a tavern for this. Exactly. Ex you see, now he's getting and into the way of it. it. You yeah. know? We were in a tavern. Yeah, okay. I, I was having a nice pint. We met over some ales. Yeah. And then we, we sat around making plans for heroic deeds. In fact, until this point, all we've ever done is make plans for our heroic deeds. This is now our opportunity okay. to live out those heroic deeds. You Come with me, dwarf. You live out your heroic deeds. I'm here for the shinies. Right. Overlord, over to you. How okay. do we play this game? How do we play? It's three very simple stages. You have the hero stage, Yep. the overmaster stage, mm -hmm. and then just the roundup if is anything needed and it carries on like that okay okay so who are you i am rorden a dwarven fighter okay so if i put this under the close camera so everyone can see mm -hmm. i have my little stat card i'm reasonably tough with my armor four mm -hmm. quite handy in combat with four dice movement six so i'm actually quite nippy for a dwarf yep i've got my my lovely lovely feet mm -hmm. which i'm hoping will come into play later in the game okay well i am orlaf or whenever I wave my magnificent sword about, everybody says, having a laugh. <laughs> anyway, oh, I've got a movement of seven. Yep. I've got a combat dice five. Mm. And I've got an armor of two. And that armor of two is important mm -hmm. because it's basically no armor. Yeah. I am naked with my <laughs> rippling body. He's running about in a wolf pelt. Pretty much yep. how I normally walk around the studio, to be honest. So... Uh, I dress for these occasions, you know, so... <laughs> so, before we get stuck into the hero phase, yep. I would like you to shuffle my Overlord deck. Right, 
So tell me a bit about the okay. Silverlord deck. These are kind of a dual purpose. One, they give the Overlord mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a few extra things to throw at the adventurers mm -hmm. and make their job that little bit harder. Okay. Sometimes it'll give me an extra command. Sometimes I'll be able to raise more skeletons. Mm -hmm. As you get further on, you have use more from the main deck, and some of them are really nasty. Okay. Yeah. Generally, they're just a nice little booster for me. Well, I'll tell you what. Fire up a camera. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there's um, one. I'm not going to look at this, but the, here is some of the stuff that you know you might see coming up mm. in this game. We don't want to see it because the whole purpose of this deck is that, well, we, we don't yeah. really want to yeah. know what's yeah. there. Yeah. So if you give it a quick shuffle. Okay. Just, just so, for fairness' sake. Give me my nice overhead. I'm going to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. There. Boom. Now the, the I have placed my fate in your large masculine hands. Barbarian hands. Mm. Overlord always takes three cards to start off with. Yep. Okay. Then each turn, I take another one. Mm -hmm. I don't always have to play a card. I can always I can build up a massive hand mm -hmm. of cards. But I always take one because this is your turn counter. Ah. ah. Once we reach zero cards, the adventure has ended. If ah. you have not reached your goal, you've lost. It's time to reset. Oh. And as the overmaster, I have to tell you what your goal is. And in this case, it is to break open this door. Mm. Right. Okay. So, breaking into the hold. I think we can do it. Okay. Yes. So, how do we start? Straight away, it's the hero's turn. Now, when I say heroes, there's no fixed. Mm. This guy, this turn, you might want the barbarian to go first. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Next turn, you might want the dwarves to go first. So the okay. heroes get to decide between themselves. Get to decide, so you can react to the situations that come up. Yeah, okay. okay. Who would you like to go first? Oh, and to say, just to say, it's always movement first mm. and, and or one action. Mm. So, so I can either move and make an action, yep. or make an action and not move. That's correct. Okay. okay, right. In character. In character. We peer into the darkness of the dungeon. A light is flickering. You can hear kind of what do bones do? What do bones do? Crackle. Rattling. You Rattling. can hear a rattle. <laughs> you can hear you can hear kind of a, a rattle. A bony a rattle mm. further down. The barbarian turns to his new adventurer friend and says, I'm gonna make a man out of you during this. After you, mate. Okay. You. <laughs> the barbarian says, "Right, I shall go forth heroically into this dungeon and show you how this job is done." So I'm going to move. Yep. Mm -hmm. My movement is seven. You say you okay. can move. Uh, yeah, my move. guy here. You can move up to seven. Okay. So let me go. One, two, three, four. Or could I go one, two, three? Four. Yep, you can move diagonally as long as the adjacent squares would normally let you do so. And I'm allowed to turn my miniature around for free. Yep, free, free turn at any point during, during the movement. movement. Okay. And it right. is, that is important because you do have a front arc, mm -hmm. which is the squares either side or the three in front. Okay, mm -hmm. right. So I'm going to fight. And now you're in a fight. Yeah. So I get to roll five combat dice. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. What am I? What am I trying to score? How does this? Okay, uh, so the way the combat works is your roll your combat dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we go into close cam here, yep. so the other way there. So this is my five here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where's the stats for the skeleton? The kit? stats are for the handy necromancer panel. Mm -hmm. So let me Just put that there. there. So that's now, the necromancer overlord panel. Yep. Now this gives me the stats for all the undead, apart yeah. from the heroes that I'm ever going to use in this. Mm -hmm. Game. Yeah. Okay. So I've got two. So what we do is we both roll at the same time. Yep. Okay. So I've got a five, a four. Yep. Oh, that was a three. Mm -hmm. That was a two. I keep Jimmy in the oh. dice here. And a two. Okay. So the first thing we do is we get rid of the feeble dice, the ones that don't penetrate the armor of what you're fighting. And what is the armor of a skeleton? Armor of a skeleton is two. So I here. need more than two so to two get two or below. So these two come Take away straight out. Okay. The next we compare dice. Mm -hmm. So my six beats my it, five. Beats your five. My five beats your four. Okay. Which means you hit me for one point. I scored a hit. Yes. However. Yep. 
on my overlord panel again, it tells you, rather than mm -hmm. having lots of cards, it tells you what happens. Here's my skeleton. One hit has no effect. Ah. Okay. It's deflected by the scythe. Okay. The barbarian turns to the dwarf and says, I'm just warming up. Okay, dwarf, your turn. Mm. Well, my dwarf having seen the feeble attempt of the barbarian to crush a skeleton. It wasn't that feeble, no. I, I, you know, the hit went through. The hit went through. It is just warming up. He I strides will... forth into the dungeon, raises his mighty hammer. Yep. And prepares to strike the skeleton. Now. Now you. Yes. Get four, four dice. dice. Yep. Okay. And you're standing beside me while I fight the skeleton. Ah. So, so I'm outnumbered. Yes. Now, so. The way this would work, normally skeletons aren't great. So I've got uh, two combat dice mm -hmm. and two armor. Mm. Yeah. So what you do is, uh, with an outnumber, I would normally, you'd normally remove one of my combat dice. Yes. yes. But you can't go lower than two. Mm -hmm. So it carries over to my armor, yep. which can be reduced to one. Right. Uh, but the bare minimum is two dice, two one armor. armor. You yes. can't go any lower. Can't go that. any lower. Okay. Any, any more modifiers just get negated. There's no point. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I raise my mighty hammer and prepare to strike. So two pluses is going to count on this. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So any ones are removed. No ones. No ones. Mm -hmm. My six, six beats your four, my five, five beats your three. Them. That's four points of damage. My dwarf mightily slams his hammer yep. down upon the and enemy look, skull. As, as you would expect, that's a destroyed skeleton. Right. Straight okay. out of play. Yeah. The barbarian turns around to the dwarf and goes, huh, beginner's luck. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Now it's over to the overlord. Now yes. we put down tokens. To yeah. represent yes. the fact that we have moved. Yes, uh, my one has went walkabout. Okay, well there okay. was a green one. There, so. are, yeah. there are we four, will remember. four different coloured tokens. Mm. Later on you do get all four character heroes playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First thing I'm going to do as the evil overlord is take another card and see yep. what evil things I can play on you. Now I have a set number of commands yeah. which is dictated in the quest book. So I'll just okay. show this briefly. Mm -hmm. So I'm down into shot. Down. Yeah. So you can see down here, it tells you here. It tells me I've got two commands that yep. I can use per turn. Mm -hmm. It also gives me, which is very important, a maximum number of skeletons. Yep. Just there, yeah. Yep. That I can use in the game. So you can't raise more skeletons than is listed in the adventure. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And that also tallies with what you're going to be getting in the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they're, they're not going to have adventures where you need more miniatures than what you've got in the box. No. Okay. You can make those when you get mm -hmm. the when the adventurous companion comes out. Yeah. yeah. And obviously that's up to what people want to do with their own dungeons and campaigns. But yeah. Yeah, with what we're supplying, it's everything you need mm. for that particular Perfect. adventure. Okay. So I've got two commands. So the first command I'm going to do is I'm going to raise dead. Mm -hmm. Now I take one of these little circles which we had here. Yep. These are piles of bones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what that allows me to do is raise up a skeleton. Yep. So I've now got one other command that I can do. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to march my skeleton two, three, four into combat with the barbarian. Mm. The rattle of bones approaches as me from my right hand side. <laughs> <laughs> the barbarian is not as stupid as I had feared. He no, moves right from left. You're in combat with me now, then. Yep. Yeah. So now, exactly as before, I'm. So I get my you. full five dice. You get your full five dice. But this time, I'm not trying to beat your armor. I'm just trying to beat your dice rolls. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Which you don't need to worry about because I didn't even get past your armor. So I'm only beating the dice rolls that get past my armor, yeah, and my I, armor is two. Yeah, okay. If so. I'd rolled a four and a three. Then we'd have used your dice, the five would have blocked my three, my four, four, and that would have blocked my three. Yeah, okay. So it'd been fine. But if you'd rolled loads of low and I've mm -hmm. got high, you just start taking some damage. Okay. okay. So that's normally, that's my second command. Yeah. And it would be back over to you. However, I'm feeling nasty. Okay. Right. So I'm going to play one of my Overmaster cards. Uh huh. Which is two extra commands. Right. And it tells you exactly what it does here. The Overlord may give. Two extra commands mm -hmm. in this turn, in addition to those allowed 
in the rules. Right. Yeah. Okay. Which in this case, and you're able to play that at any point during your turn. Yeah. Okay. So I, I could have done that at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But you it. wanted to make us sweat. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. We thought we were safe, and now it's. I wasn't awesome. expecting that. <laughs> no. But that's great. Okay. So what I'll do. Is I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. I'm gonna bring these skeletons up. Now, as you can see, I've already got my maximum, as it says, yeah. four skeletons. So you couldn't raise more dead. No, okay. Yeah. I can't raise more dead, but I can activate those. Now that goes into my discard. Okay. okay. And now we're back over to the hero's turn. Okay, so I'm going to take our token back. Yeah. We will share this token, dwarf. Very well. Okay. Right. Would you okay. like to go first or second? The Barbarian. Feels like he's going to go first, actually. Okay. Yeah. So the Barbarian says, watch this, Dwarf. Now, the difficulty I have here is I, there's no point in me moving, because if I try to move away, all I can do is retreat from this guy. Okay? Be because someone. you can't... I can't move past him like this, can yeah. I? You see, you, you, you can only move away from a combat. Yeah. You can't move past the combat. The ruling is you can't move... You, what, you can only move, you can break free yeah. by moving out of the front arc of mm. the enemy model. So it's a breakaway. Yep. Yeah. But in this case, you still wouldn't be able to because you can't move in that particular thing. You can, you're not allowed to go into another enemy enemy's model. Yes, so front I arc. am stuck. So the you only option there. I have is to fight. Yes. Okay. Now he's still in my arc of being able to fight. Oh, yeah. Yep. So by fighting, I can't move after this, but I'm going to I'm going to attack the skeleton. So you could change your facing if you wanted to. That's absolutely yeah. fine. I would be tempted to change. Yes, facing. I, I am tempted to change facing because the this skeleton, skeleton right here. here. Could, could, no, do you know what? I'm going to I'm going to do the first rule of adventuring. Trust your party. Trust your party. Do you know what? I'm going to demonstrate my trust of you, dwarf, mm. and I'm going to. Swing my sword in the most spectacular style, leaving my back open to a skeleton because <laughs> I trust you to step in and do the business. Okay, let's see what we get. So, Two for you, Rich. Two for me. So, a six, a three, and a three, and two ones. Well, the two ones don't count. Nope. Yeah. Oh, pants. So, six one damage. Six. So, that cancels that out. That cancels that out. One. And a single a, a hit on its own does nothing. Does nothing. This barbarian is going to have to take a drink of some kind of a potion or something to try and <laughs> swell himself up here. The dwarf, in a surly, grumbling manner, would you quit playing about? Right. Decides to shift himself across to strike at the skeleton behind his wayward companion. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, dwarf. Why are you not going in there? Where you can block the skeleton from coming. You see, this is because he you, can't move. You trust your. He can't he, move. He can As a move tip, into if you, there. If you went into there, mm. struck face forward. Yeah. And you kill him. Mm. You then outnumber the skeleton next time. Ah, fair enough. All right, I'll do that. So yes, I will indeed move from here across to here. Trust in your adventuring party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> time for a strike. Okay. On this skeleton. So, the one does, the one does nothing, three. but I have two sixes and a three. So, the four is beaten. knocked out by a six. The two mm -hmm. is beaten. That is three damage. And is that a dead skeleton? And three that damage is, is a dead skeleton. A destroyed skeleton. Lovely. Okay, that marks the end of our turn. Mm -hmm. So, back over to the Overlord. Evil Overlord. I will withdraw a card. I have my two commands. Mm -mm. I will bring three, four. Stop that outnumbering. Mm -hmm. So we're now one on one again. And I will raise dead here. Are you using any overlord cards? But I'm not going to use any overlord cards this turn. Okay. All right. So we've only got one combat. Yep. Which is this guy here against mm -hmm. the dwarf. Okay. Pitiful. Nothing even beyond my armor. No, not behind your armor. Easily swat it aside. It is back over to the heroes. Mm. The barbarian mutters to himself, oh, this dwarf is getting cocky. <laughs> right. Um, the barbarian is going to attack. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, we don't outnumber. 
Mm -hmm. But um, if you kill your opponent, but we will. I, but we will in your turn, okay? Yes. So, but who needs the outnumbering more, me or you? The way I'm rolling dice at the moment, but that's about to change. Yes. You're about to see a barbarian roll. Or you could use your feet and crush both opponents and get extra attack this turn. The barbarian decides <laughs> to use his feet. Okay. Actually, oh yes, I can. Right, so let me read the feet out. So, once per game, mm -hmm. Orlaf makes a separate four dice attack against every enemy model adjacent to him, including enemies in his rear arc. So everybody yep. I'm touching, I'm just going... Except for the dwarf, he's wise enough to duck. Orlaf's right. attacks are not modified by anything, but the defenders are modified as normal. Yep. Mm. So, first this guy. Okay. So, four dice... Yep. There we go. This is it. This is what I'm talking about. So three in. We okay. get neutralized. So my one doesn't count. That one's neutralized. neutralized. Those two beat. And one skeleton. Two mm -hmm. turns into a pile of bones. Pile of bones. Okay, so the next one. Now, is he now outnumbered? He is now outnumbered. Okay, so... He doesn't go down in dice, but he goes down in armor. Yep. So my two pluses count this time. Yeah. Oh, the barbarian goes. Oh. oh. Rushing right. blow. This. This yep. is what I'm talking about. This is how a barbarian rolls All dice. All through the armor. Six beats that. Everything beats my one. Do you know? Rushed, dead guy. Barry. Back onto that dice roll. Arms out of the way. Dice rolls like that not only kill them, it shakes the dungeon. <laughs> the whole dungeon. Shakes at the power of the barbarian. The barbarian turns to his dwarven friend and says, huh, Told you I was just warming up. <laughs> okay. Uh, the dwarf, emboldened by his companion's might, decides it's time to charge off down the dungeon to the next fight. So he will go one, two, three, and four. And he will raise his hammer once more to strike. The barbarian the looks. Down the dungeon and says, This dwarf, this dwarf has more brains than I give him credit for. Because it is very interesting, because if you'd went into this spot, you would have been outnumbered. Indeed. Yep. So, so as it stands, my Tell two... me, did you do that deliberately? Yes. That's incredible. So <laughs> the two doesn't beat your armor. Nope. Yep. The six is nullified. Yep. But there are still two points of damage there. Yep. Yep. So Pile of bones. Pile of bones. <laughs> so crushed. Lovely. I can live with that. We're making some progress now, Justin. We're making some progress. Mm. Uh, right, that's our turnover. Back to the Overlord. Back to the Overlord. What have you got for that, Overlord? Um, take one of these. Let's so does the Overlord's hands, does he have a maximum hand no. size? No! No. So Sorry. he just gets more and more powerful. Potentially, but yeah. It's, it's, it's if he's saving it for a big swing at the hero. How many cards can you play in a turn? One. Yes. Okay. Oh, right. Unless you have a card that says you can play another card. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if they exist or not, but okay. okay. Yeah, certainly not in this deck, mm -hmm. in this, yeah. the starter deck. But okay. let's have a look. Well, as things stand, we're doing quite well on this adventure. Yep. I'm going to, my, my first command. Yes. I'm going to move him okay. into combat. Okay. So let's, let's, let's have do a that. Fight. Let's have a scrap. Now, I don't mean to tell the Overlord his own business here, but surely if the Overlord had raised the dead there first and then moved him into combat, I he would have got the outnumber. I wouldn't have been able to move that one then because that would have been blocked. Oh, so, I see. So you can't move diagonally in and out of these squares. If it's blocked. If yeah. it's blocked. Yep. Okay. You have to have a legal space to move through to make a diagonal move. Right, okay. Gotcha. Right, so all those little things that... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's not, it's not great. One's through. Oh, completely blocked. So, that didn't get through your armour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six beats, but yeah. Oh, actually, hang on. It's you attacking me. Yeah. Yeah. So well, six beats you five, but I don't have anything left. No, the so one, so one, you're right. take one damage. So one attack goes one damage. through. Now, so. yep, one of those are now. Okay, yep. so Even if we can that. show this off under yep. that yep. camera there. Yep. Okay. So as you can see, I've taken my first point of damage. Mm -hmm. But I still have plenty to go. So 
the the heroes don't feel the effects of damage in terms of modifiers no. until it gets to this point. Yeah. No, this is when you can only see red. Yep. They're injured. Okay. If there's nothing, you're crippled. Mm -hmm. The overlord is one. Okay. If that's one of the criteria. Gotcha. Yeah. A very important thing to note is e five. Even if I manage to get two, mm. you are only ever each at combat. You only ever take one. Damage. Ah, I see. So that stops any fluky dice rolls yeah. causing a ton of damage onto the heroes. Yeah. They are heroes. They yeah. only take one point. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that was my first. My second command mm -hmm. will be to, as you were thinking, raise, raise dead. the dead. Well, okay. you're raising yourself right next to me. Yep. I assume I'm not going to sit and let you do that. No, you get a free hit. Right. Lovely. Okay. So I will have my four dice, but I now I'm outnumbered. So would I lose mm -hmm. one, I assume? No, that doesn't count on for this. You're, you're just ah. literally, the pile of skeletons are coming up. You just Whap. smash. Okay. Lovely. Because it's not a true combat as such. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Three fives. Yeah. Sheesh. So it, it didn't. It tried to raise up, but you might my hammer squish it. fell upon the skull as it raised, okay. turning it to dust. But I am going to play a card. I'm going to play a ra one raised dead. Okay. Which will allow me to cast raised dead again on one pile of bones. Okay, mm -hmm. so where will it be? And you know where it's going to be. I'm actually not going to take the risk of a smack. Oh. I am. I'm going to bring him up here. Now, I can't move him. It's mm -hmm. enough just to get him up. Yep, that's fair enough. Right. And it's back over to... The heroes. Okay. okay. We may be inexperienced adventurers, but we're not stupid. So the barbarian surveys the dungeon corridor and the cramped confines. He notices that a skeleton blocks his path to the ultimate initial glory mm. of the door. Mm. So he shouts to his dwarven f companion. Yep. Rorden, take him out. Right, yes. I sound like Hillary fight. Clinton, to be honest, <laughs> rather than <laughs> rather than a barbarian. But you know, it's well, similar. Yeah. <laughs> Dwarf, hearing the cry of his companion, yeah, decides, yes, come here, you skinny bag of bones. I'm going to knock you down a peg or two. I thought the first first part of that was actually part of your <laughs> chat up line. <laughs> <laughs> so the one's no good, both uh -huh. through, but one, six, two, six, six, six Perfect. five, crushed another dead skeleton. Yep, I can do no more this turn, unfortunately. But that you see, this is teamwork. This is teamwork. Yes, I've opened the way for you. Because the barbarian then goes. Aah! Oh wait, I realise what I've done. <laughs> there is one thing one, screaming through my two, mind right now. Three, four. Five, six, seven. Leroy! <laughs> I knew you would do this in this game at some point. Yep. You would run off and leave me to all the dirty work. Right, so, so it's over the, to the Overlord's evil overlord. turn again. The evil Overlord draws a camarade. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raise dead. Okay. So, that is now clear. This one back. Play. Yep. But I can't move him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's, just, he's still there. He's still looking there. Looking more than a little menacing. Yep. I'm going to move this one. Yep. One, two, three, four. Okay, they're coming after us. And yep. yep, that is my turn. No cards to play. No cards to play this time. Okay, so it's back to us. Okay. Would you care to take a swing at the door first? We'll wait. Right. Yep. There's... An ancient ritual mm. among adventurers when it comes to the glory. Because it's all about the glory. I know I'm talking about teamwork here, but it's all about the glory. All right. Okay? Are you familiar with the ancient ritualized concept of hick hack hock? Yes. Right. Hover! Hick hack hock! Blast. Yes! The barbarian having a smart smart his dwarven companion. Let's out his animalistic roar. He tears <laughs> off the what remainder am I wearing? The remainder of, of my woven <laughs> loincloth <laughs> and Christ. runs the up door. to the door in all his flappy glory. <laughs> and he gets to the door and he says, Rah! No. How does this work? What, what happens? <laughs> okay, it's a mundane lock. Yep. 
as it says in the thing, you haven't got time, you haven't got the keys, and you haven't got the time to pick it. You were yes. trying to barrel through this dungeon. Yes. You have got to break it down. Yes. And it tr you treat it exactly the same as you would attacking a minion. A okay. Monster. Okay. There's a little token here that tells you what it's got. got okay. Th three so armor. can we see that? So it's a three and a three. Yep. So it gets three dice and it's got three armor. So I yep. need threes. You need above to threes to get Can you armor. outnumber a door? I had wondered that, but I doubt it. <laughs> That's a good question. Well, then there's one that. for the FAQ. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you okay. Right. Take your best shot at This it. is it. This is it. The barbarian strikes and hits with almost everything that he can hit with. So the threes. So the threes off. don't work. But all three remainders. Smash it aside. And the door goes. And the dwarf, hearing the rustling of bones behind him, screams out into the darkened halls. Wait for me, you bloody fool! <laughs> is there a piece of fluff text? There is a the piece of this. fluff text. Let's have a okay. look. Because to point out, you have completed the point of that quest. Yeah, well, you done. have won. All right. See, adventuring. It's Working great, together. isn't it? It's great. It's great until you bugger off. <laughs> the last That's skeleton so dropped so under a heavy blow from Olaf's axe, and the barbarian grunted to himself in satisfaction. <clears throat> Rawdon, taking no chances after the experience of the last few minutes, stomped down hard on the skull, shattering it under his heavy boot, and grinding the fragments to powder under his heel. These things didn't go down easily, and he had no wish to find one of them risen again at their backs later on. Olaf blew out a long breath and kicked out as a dismembered hand lying on the flagstones beside him twitched. So what now? What Next for the barbarian as he reached down and put his loincloth back <laughs> on, <laughs> looking a bit sheepishly and said, that might have been a bit of overkill actually. <laughs> right. We are going to be continuing this uh, this learning adventure over the course of this weekend. So mm. stay tuned because we have tons more of this uh, coming um, as myself and Justin, you know, learn the ropes of adventuring together mm. in a dark, deep, stinky dungeon. It's great. We'll see you soon. <laughs>